So this is the Granite Stash RT. It builds on the success of the original stash, but now features a two-way ratchet with nine different tool attachments. The housing is now sprung-loaded and has a rotating top cap to access. In this video, we're going to show you how to install the tool into the steerer tube of your bike. The Stash RT comprises the tool and the housing. The housing comes in two pieces and there are three different lengths which you can use to fit the length of your steerer tube. So step one, we're going to remove the star nut that's inside your steerer tube. So the best way to get the star nut out of your steerer tube is to put the bike on the ground and then hammer it through, down through your steerer tube. So when it comes to installing the housing, um, we've got three different bolt lengths to use. So you can choose the right one for the length of your steerer tube. When we're ready to install the tool housing, make sure that there's a gap of about three mil from the top of your steerer tube to the top of your spacers or the top of your stem. So when it comes to putting the housing in, take a long Allen key, drop that in the top and slide it in. Take the bottom section and offer that up until it meets the bolt and then tighten up. So when you come to install the housing, make sure that the top cap is aligned so that it closes easily and sits straight. So there are other top caps available which are compatible with cycling computers. So if you have a Garmin, a Wahoo or a Brighton computer, you can now attach that directly to the top cap of the Stash RT. So with the tool housing installed, the next thing we want to do is make sure that the headset is tight. So to do that, we will loosen the stem bolts, tighten the tool housing, which will tighten the headset, and then finish off by tightening the stem bolts so it's ready to go. Using a 6mm Allen key in the base and a long 5mm in the top, we can just tighten up the headset and make sure there's no play. It's also worth making sure that your bars are straight before we tighten up the stem bolts. So the last thing to do is to tighten the stem bolts to the manufacturer's specification. So finally, with everything installed, all the bolts tight, we can install the tool into the housing. <laughs> 